And then on the floor itself. You may see a little, a nice little rug. A beautiful little gray, faded gray, perhaps pissed on rug. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> also, okay. yeah I, I, think, I think that's clear though. He's clearly not eating anything. How do you know that? Um, well, it'd be a very odd robotic way to eat. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Welcome back to the Critical Banter Podcast. This is the podcast where we take the very best bits from your favorite late night shows and pack them into one single podcast. For this week's episode, we'll be bringing back the fan favorite game, we guess the sound, as well as our work segment, Red Handed. But before that, to wrap the week, we got me and Miguel. We have Senny. Hello. We have Ro. G'day, g'day. And we have Kush. Well, 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 fellas. Here we are. We promised a couple of things in the past weeks, in the weeks before. Ro, do you mind refreshing? What did we promise the listeners and the viewers? Mm. What did we promise them? We promised them a number of things. Number one, we promised them better content. Okay, forget about that. Move on to number two. What <laughs> that's, was that's whip. One? That's work in progress. Yeah, second, second promise. Second is a whole new setup, a boys. Whole new setup. We've got new Ooh. mics. If you're on audio, first of all, pause your pause, audio, pause. revisit later, yeah. but go on the YouTube Critical Banter, click on this week's episode and you will see. Do you see this lovely, look at the sofas, fellas. These sofas are <laughs> class. We've got a bit of space between us. I've never seen Sen so beautifully comfortable in a position like mm. that before. On the Instagram, all right, we're mm. going to show an evolution of what this studio looks like. From, from right? season one. From season one. Then we we went. We'll actually talk about it for a little bit. Season one was basically we were at no no video. It was just audio. Yeah, me, you, Sen, and Manny were on Manny's dining table, mm. essentially, oh, yeah. with a snowball mic. We had bridges <laughs> covering it. I think bridges <laughs> came a bit before that. That was the most prehistoric version. But this is the prehistoric, the Blue Yeti, the Blue Yeti. The Blue Yeti. We had the we had one we had mic one between mic four of us. Between four of us, Kush yeah. actually wasn't there to be to be fair. I wasn't there, yeah, because it was too hard to do with four people. I think that we had a limitation. We had a physical <laughs> limitation. So why, what, did, why did we think that would work? <laughs> should we show it to the audience? The what? The blue yeti. The blue yeti and the bridges book. Yeah, we should. Yeah, yeah we'll, right. put we'll, up photos, we'll put our photos on YouTube. I could, I'll get it. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah get, get it, get it. it. So that, that that is number one edition. And why do we even have this bridges book? That's I feel like that's a random. Um, like segue for the listeners. They've got no idea why we even use this book. It's what was read to me before he went to sleep every night. <laughs> <laughs> so on the screen is currently it's Bridges. It's a massive book. Flip, it's flip, a- flip it for the views. Yeah, show oh, sorry. It's yeah. Showing the blog. Wrong side, and then open, open it up, bro. This is how we set it up, right? We have the Bridges book covering all external audio. And then we plonk <laughs> our Blue Yeti microphone right in the middle. And all three of us were talking around Beautiful. it. Beautiful. And do you know the purpose of why we did that, fellas? It was, it was something to do with audio. It was to do with audio because this mic, and it, if, again, go on YouTube. The mics that we have currently, as you can see, are directional. It's aiming straight out our mouths. Yes. The Blue Yeti was in fact, as described, a big ball, which meant that every time you recorded, sound was- Recorded fire. everything and everything. Everything, everywhere, all at once. That's what it was doing. Class. Then but- the second edition of our setup, that, sorry, that was on Miguel's dining table. Mm. We had our own individual mics at that stage. We'll put we, a photo up on the Instagram. We upgraded, yeah. but there was no video. So the setup didn't really matter. We yeah. literally just plonked some mics on a dining table and sat around but, but like the last supper. But we had more space. We had more space. We did. We had our own chairs at that yeah, point. Yeah, exactly. You know? And then what was next? Someone next refreshed me first, because I forgot. Next was our <laughs> first iteration of video, right? Mm. So we moved into our, we'll call a studio room here. We only had well, black tiles. Well, no, but before that we had the virtual. Oh, we had the virtual. That was our, yeah. And we also had the remote. Yeah. Because yes, all right. the previous recordings were done in my abode. Mm. And I went in exchange for six months. Yeah. So we sent all this equipment to Rate's garage. True. <laughs> oh, yeah. And yeah. what did you record on? We recorded on my table tennis table. <laughs> That's right. In the darkness. <laughs> Only one of the garage lights worked. Dare I say the best sound quality we've ever come across. Yeah, the acoustics in the there acoustics. were beautiful. <laughs> Just fantastic. Do you want to ship all this there? Yeah, perhaps. Perhaps we go back to your table tennis table. No, no, no. I'm glad we're here. And Anyways, then- I came back from exchange. We recorded one week or two. And then COVID hit. Yep. So then we got to the Zencaster virtual from our own bedrooms with our laptop webcams and everything. And then as I said, next iteration, first iteration of video was in this very room. We had a, what was it? A picnic table, like a the two long meter long white, table, white picnic table, yeah. which we yeah. had $5 Amazon clamps for, which dented the table. Destroyed I'll be sending, table. I'll be sending <laughs> an invoice to you boys to replace the table. 
And we only had black tiles on the wall. Mm. Do you remember that? I do. Because yes. yeah, then we also, right. we, put, we put black tiles, space, Black tile. That's right. It was checkered. It was like a chessboard. Like a chessboard. Oh, yes. And then and then and then we didn't even have a tablecloth covering the table. It was just like the table. A white table. A white table and then a, a black and white chessboard. And the camera like did not even cut off. So we had the black and white chessboard for a bit and then we just had wall. White like, wall. <laughs> From, from the either side. And we couldn't, we didn't get a tripod yet. So the camera was sitting on a bunch of boxes. You remember that? Oh That's yes, right. true, true. And it was on the other side of the room. Well, this very room. Yeah. Because no, there was a bed in the way. And then we tried posting on TikTok and got like, we got like 200 views on each video because it was just so village. It, was, it wasn't even for like the video resolution. I'm pretty sure it was like 720p. <laughs> we couldn't afford to go to the 4K route. Nah, it was pretty bad. That, that was actually honestly the worst setup we've ever had. Yeah, we use your, um the camcorder, that, like the oh, old yeah. video we, camera. Kush had a camcorder that the battery didn't work. Yeah, it <laughs> so it had to be plugged in at all times. And even that, it turned off it randomly. A, a George Bush era fucking and then camcorder. Brought, then the DSLR came in. You remember that? It was mm. the DSLR and we started recording the video function of a, a, a photo <laughs> and a, a camera designed for taking photos. No, then, then we had, then we set up the studio like, we had we got bought the neon sign, mm. the most the, famous setup, right? The, exactly, the yeah. iconic, the longest one. setup that we had. Then we had the neon sign. We bought some purple tiles, yep. and then as you can see in the background, that's what it looks like. But then we had a we had that same picnic table, except we decided to cover it. We'll put a black no, table. No, it was a different table. It. I think it was. I think we no. We had straight. the we had the picnic table for like two episodes. Right. Okay. And then we thought this is not it. This is not the vibe. Let's get a round table. And we went on Facebook Marketplace. Already had found a lovely little round table. <laughs> picked it up. A few screws missing at the bottom, but. Sorry, it lasted us for a hundred or so episodes. That's yeah, true. Class. And then we decided, you know what? It's time, time for a refresh. Wow, it's been a while since we had the last setup. I have to say, it has. And this yeah. is season three. This is season three. I'm, we're going to say that. This, yeah, this, this is, is season, season three. three. This is the beginning of a whole new era for Critical Banter. So for the coward still on audio, what is new in this setup? Let's describe it. What do we have new? Well, we got we got new mics. That's plain. That's clear as day. We've got now mics that aren't on. What do we call it? What do we call those things? Like mini tripods, they're now on stands. We can mm. watch this, fellas. I'm not going to talk, but watch this. Look at that pivots, the the boom mics. Send you yours. I would do that, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> let's say 75 percent of the stands are working. <laughs> we've got all. <laughs> we've got movement. What else do we have, Kush? Well, we've got a lovely bookshelf here, fellas. Just That's take a look true. at this bookshelf here. Mm. Beautiful. We'll touch on a bit later of what you know. What's what on items the are going to fill it in? Exactly. But we've also got. We got some little lights at the bottom, fellas. You see our foots are kind of- Let me lift my foot. <laughs> oh, you get up. our feet hey. as well now. You can see our whole bodies. Before it was just from the torso up. Mm. So much so that we had to cover up Rose dogs, unfortunately, <laughs> today. Yeah, Manny's <laughs> lending me some socks graciously <laughs> <laughs> to save the uh, the viewers, my, the side of my crusty toenails. And then on the floor itself. You may see a little, a nice little rug, a beautiful little- Persian gray, rug. faded gray, perhaps pissed on rug. <laughs> yeah. Again, also, another Facebook marketplace <laughs> cop. 50 bucks for this rug. By the way, rugs aren't cheap. We had a look at the rugs. We wanted to buy a brand new rug and yeah. we looked at the size that we needed. Mate, 800 shekels is what it's costing us. No way. No Facebook way. marketplace from this guy who lives in Gladesville. <laughs> Persian man who- He's helped. moving anyway. It's fine. Yeah, it's all good. Oh, well, so what he says. <laughs> and then he's just giving me the rug. Anyways, it's, it's a nice setup. We've indulged enough. This is delightful. Have a look at it because we're quite proud of it. It took us like four weeks of like multiple hours every Sunday. We did say it hopefully it would just take us one week. Second week we're on and recording. Well, actually our first promise was we'll spend the first four hours setting it up. The couches, everything. And we'll get into cracking. We'll get straight into recording. Guess what? It took two weeks. No, three weeks. It took three weeks of setting it up. And here we are the fourth week. So if you, if you at home remember when I went to Europe, everything was delivered at that point. Mm. It's taken mm. that long for us to actually get our hands on everything yeah. and set it all up. We, we had to set up what? The stands, the arms, the shelf, and the chair. And I'm going to say there's not one thing in here that we set up correctly. <laughs> we had to assemble and then disassemble every single thing because we fucked it up at some I point. I think my, my favorite memory was the bookshelf. The we bookshelf, like, laugh, but you missed this right. <laughs> I was not there for that. What it happened was, there? Well, as you can see, the bookshelf is designed so that the weight stands on one leg, right? right. Well, we did it the opposite way and we were like, why is it bending? Because essentially what, when we built it, all the shelves we noticed were at a 30 degree angle. And then me and Kush were like, ah, it's part of the design. It's all good. They were, they were like, oh, that's how it's meant to be. <laughs> the way we tested it was we put our phone and we'd be yeah. like, yeah, it looks perfect. It didn't slide off, so it's working. No way. Now my favorite is you and I, Sen, when it was just you and I, oh we're setting God. up the couches, right? So if you look here, we're sitting on what? Rectangular yeah. um, rectangular cushions. Mm. And which we're, we're putting the cushions in the covers and we're like, brother, it doesn't fit. Like it literally <laughs> wasn't fitting. But <laughs> what I will say is when we set up the actual sofa, everything was 
um, pinpoint, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It, like, it fits so snug. Yeah. It was perfect. So Sam and I are like, oh, this just has to fit perfectly. You just have to right? really like put a bit of mm. oomph into so it. So we put oomph into it. Two-man job per cushion. Two-man. Yeah. Like I, I was <laughs> yeah. sitting on it and, and Manu was like, pull, like literally like almost breaking a sweat trying you to laugh. zip it up. You well, laugh. Putting the covers on it. Yeah. yeah. You laugh, but we closed it. We closed it. And then we got into the second cushion and that cushion fit snug <laughs> no dramas then we look at the other one we're like fuck we put it the wrong way oh no we literally put a, what was it a round peg in a square yeah. hole we proved you can't put a round peg in a square hole That's if you class. believe enough it just takes a bit of effort exactly <laughs> if you want it enough you can do it it was a journey it was, it was a, journey. a journey and quickly to end the journey we'll go around what we'll do the bookshelf is half empty right now mm. but what we will do is we'll all add our personal touch we'll go around the room and one yeah. person can add one thing of their own. You know, mm. everything on that shelf right now was mutually agreed, but everyone has a chance to put their own thing. All right. In my hand, boys, I've got a beautiful metallic so- uh, sign that says Anfield Road, That's which class. is the road behind Anfield Stadium wow. and where Glenn and I almost got mugged by a 15-year-old kid. <laughs> <laughs> so just to commemorate that, I would like to donate this to the shelf. That's class. Fantastic. We'll, we'll put that on between between yeah. segments. I was just trying to figure out a way how we can put that on the no, we'll put it, we'll put it Yeah, you know, we'll, uh, we'll probably like Fellas, read it against something. I've got, what do you a got Kush? beautiful little pistol here in my hands. Mm. A Fortnite flintlock. <laughs> now, just hear this, fellas. Wow, class. That is going up there. Actually, if you, you follow our Instagram, you would have already seen a sneak <laughs> peek of this during the week. <laughs> You'll know why our setup was delayed, actually. <laughs> Santa Kush is playing Nerf Wars Dude, in Miguel's house. Last week, we did, we did a Mexican standoff. <laughs> <laughs> Three seconds each, and uh, I misfired. My, I got hit, unfortunately. I got uh, him. I got you him. So you won. I got, got him me good. good. I um, I'm gonna put up the Mr. Potato Head because, as of the, as you all know, I do have the world record <laughs> <laughs> for the fastest assembly of a Mr. Potato Head. Check that out. That's class. And lastly, for me, this is actually gifted by Senny and Glade wow. from their trip to Europe. It is a Cristiano Ronaldo bobblehead. Wow. So we'll be graced by the goat every episode. Class. Perfect. That is class. All right, let's crack on to some yarns. Sen, do you want to kick us off? Not even our stories. Not even ours. So this, <laughs> this is week. a story that our friend told us last night. Fresh, very fresh story. Very fresh. Uh, so let's set the scene. It was late at night. I think he said about seven, seven, eight-ish. And he was getting home from the city. And so he was getting onto the train. And I think he said about four people were there getting onto the platform with him. So very empty, very dead, late. Not late at night, but relatively late. Um, it was him, another older Indian man. So this, our friend is obviously Indian. Um, I think some other random person. And then there was like a junkie, um, <laughs> like this 50, 60 year old man who was wider than he was tall is how he described him. And he was holding a kebab in his hands. Okay. And, 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 and he specified and, not a kebab. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. Our friend specified not a kebab. Describe how he was holding the kebab. So he, what he said was he was indulging in a wrap which looked homemade. Mm. So like he made this own wrap, yeah. but you know, let's say you get a wrap from the deli or whatever, they wrap it in like wrapping paper and then maybe a bit of foil, right? He was raw dogging it. <laughs> he was, his fingers were on the bread. So usually you like unwrap, yeah, you unwrap yeah, the yeah. roll and the and you well, hold- like it peels away almost. Correct. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. so you're eating it as you go it's and you're wrapping it, unwrapping as you go. But this guy is just basically holding the, the white bread against his white and fingers. And it was, <laughs> it was an open face on both ends. Huh? So the bottom wasn't like enclosed. Like, you know how a burrito, the bottom is- uh, so both ends are falling t- down then? That's why he's gripping it. That's why he's gripped it. Dude, tight. he has a death grip on it. <laughs> so anyway, the, that, that, that should tell you about the character. Okay. So they, they were sitting down and then the train started going. And then the older Indian gentleman uh, got on the phone and he started speaking in his mother tongue. And mind you, because there's not many people in the carriage, it was, it was a bit loud so everyone could hear. So this gentleman who, had the, who was raw dogging the kebab um, heard it. And he, let's just say he wasn't too pleased about what he was hearing. <laughs> okay. And then he, he just decided to pass some, just a bit of friendly advice to the old Indian gentleman, something along the lines of, this is fucking Australia, mate. We speak English here. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then basically he just proceeded to berate the, the old Indian gentleman for a couple of minutes. And then our friend over here, and this is part of the story where let's just say, I don't know if I fully believe it, but our friend was feeling- We bit, are just the messenger. Exactly. I feel, our friend was feeling a bit Bruce Wayne that night. Ooh. So he was sitting there. He turns around to the old Indian gentleman. He's like, don't worry about him, mate. You continue doing you. 
Fair enough. Trying to, you know. Reassure the. Reassure. Because like, it's a bit confronting when the junkie is like yelling Close. at you. Yeah. That's a bit yeah. scary, 100%. So anyway, it continues on and they get to around Burwood Traffield ish. And then I think the, the gentleman is still raw dogging the kebab, by the way. But he's close to finishing. He's, he's close point. to finishing. <laughs> and he's like, mate, in two minutes, I'm going to come over there and fucking hit you. Oh, wait, to the Bruce Wayne or the older guy? To older, the older, older guy. gentleman. Because okay, okay. he was still on the phone, I believe, at this point. He was still, yeah. So, the, so fair play to this older Indian guy. He didn't give a fuck. He, was, okay. he, he just continued because he knew he had backup anyway. Yeah, business so. is business, man. He's got a, on the phone. Okay. He's got deals to close. I respect it. And then two minutes later, no, one minute later, one minute I later. think he finished his rap. Okay. And then he was like, in one minute's time, I'm going to come over there and hit you or something, okay. right? Yeah. And then he's put his stopwatch on time's ticking, right? <laughs> yeah. Then at one minute passes, he gets up and he turns around and starts walking. Okay. Then our friend Bruce Wayne. Yeah. He gets up as well and puts himself in front of the junkie Ooh. and the old Indian man. Okay. And then what happened next? Did you come in with a sucker punch to save the day? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, he was saying that he, he he was saying that he wanted to punch him. He said he said he wanted to get in a fight. Well, I, okay, interesting. I, with adrenaline like that, I don't know. Two minutes, you know the, the the clock's ticking. You know, there's a racial abuse being held. I think I would be in the same position. I'd like to step in as well. You know, would you step in though? I, I think I step in verbally. Just be like, I reckon that's enough, mate. Enough out of you. You know, to the junkie. Yeah, I think so. Really? I think I would do that. Yeah. Okay. I but think if, I if, think knowing. The guy's build, size, and age, that'd lean me towards doing something. Yeah. But if it was a, a fucking lad that might have a knife, then I might be a bit. Yeah, then I'd be like, look, I'm going to go to another carriage. You do your own thing, boss. <laughs> <laughs> because then apparently, like, when he steps in front, then yep. they got into a bit of a verbal altercation, being like, sit down, like, let him okay. go. And then p- other people in the carriage heard it yep. and then came to wow. the defense. So it was wow. like a nice community a moment. Yeah, so apparently yeah. what Society happened- Society steps up. Wow. Yeah, what happened is yeah, they had that verbal and the junkie tried to get past our mate. Yeah. And then, okay, if you want to believe this or not, it's up to you. He says, he bounced off him, right? So, <laughs> so the junkie tried to walk past and he bounced off our mate. And then- <laughs> and then Fell the, backwards. The, um, the stairs were behind. Yeah. And apparently he fell back on the stairs. <laughs> And then some other bloke was on the train and apparently picked him up and fucking pushed, threw him off the train or something. Get rid of him. And then everyone clapped. Yeah. <laughs> and then the mayor gave him a- I feel like you'd, you, no one took video. You'd see this on the news on TikTok. No, no, I, mean, I reckon stuff like this happens every day. Every we just day, don't hear for about sure, it. every day. But like I was, uh, the debate was like, would you step in? And honestly, like I would like to say that I would step in, but like yeah. I'm pretty scared of junkies yeah, to be I honest. Wouldn't. Yeah. Like I understand someone's getting racially abused and you probably should step in. But yeah. dude, I am worried about these guys who are like, you know, methed out of their minds. They've got yeah. mong strength. Do you know what I'm saying? Like it's scary. Yeah. Can I say that? I don't, yeah, I, I think, think it's fine. fine. I think it's fine. Leave it in if you want to leave it in. I, I think it's like, it's it's the fact that if you know society's there to help you. Because every time you look at these videos, you know, it's always it's always one person who steps up and then mm. everyone just sort of, you know, converges in and is like, no, we're going to help you out. You need one. You need one you person need to step one up. one person to step up. It, am I going to be that one person? Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? On the hypothetical. Day. We don't <laughs> yeah. need to go into hypotheticals. Exactly. I've had this conversation before. I don't think I'm that scared of the Australian junkies or homeless people because they just all make a lot of noise and they all like talk to you or whatever. But like, there's a, it's all bark and no bite. I'm scared of more like the American junkies. Nah, and you, you know what's got me a little bit worried? Now? You know that video? I think it was in Perth or like another city where the junkie had a knife to someone on the train. Yeah, the police came Melbourne. in. Like, Melbourne. Melbourne, Melbourne, Metro. Metro. Melbourne, yeah, Melbourne. That that one's a little. That one's scary. Dude, that, that was terrifying. Did you see? Watch. So that video was actually wild because yeah. like, yeah, this junkie comes on the train. He's like, he's like. And the cops are outside. So the train stopped or the tram stopped. Mm. And he's like yelling to the cops. He's like, kill me. Yeah. Like shoot me. And then he's like waving this knife around. And the cops are obviously like, okay, I don't know if it's obvious, but they're not shooting him. Yeah. So the cops are like trying to, uh, I don't know, work it all out. Right. Yeah. And then eventually he's getting so angry that there's a girl, uh, there's like two girls sitting on the front seats of the tram. And he basically puts a knife up to one of their neck. And then he's like, shoot me. And this is when the cops come in and then basically tase him and yeah. no one dies or gets hurt, which is good. And then everyone walks out of the train and dude, like nothing happened. Like <laughs> people on the phone walking off as if like, you know, it's Work just- Work starts at nine, mate. Got to get there. <laughs> run of the day. There was that guy right next to where he saw everything happening. And then the moment like, the police come in, he just, he, then he stepped away. He's like, yeah, I don't want to mess with it now. <laughs> yeah, it's just bizarre. But yeah, I, I don't think we've seen, I've never seen anything like that happen on- I've seen like plenty of abuse. Like I've seen lots yeah. of abuse and I have not said a word mm. because honestly, not my circus, not my monkeys. Do you know what I mean? So, <laughs> is that a saying? Sure, you yeah. might have better <laughs> <than> <laughs> that. 
I don't know. I don't think I've seen. I should have used it at a different time, I reckon. No, no, no. That's the right time to use it. On the buses, I swear you never see anything like this. It's a train specific. Yeah, yeah. I think this is a train specific thing. Why is that though? Because you can just enter a train without tapping, right? Like nah. it's more susceptible than a bus. I yeah, think. I feel like it's so much easier to get on a train for free than a yeah. bus. Because there's one way in, one way out type of vibe. Yeah, you can jump the gates and yeah, stuff, I suppose. Exactly. And multiple gates. So I think that's why. All right, yeah, but yeah, depending on the day, you know, yeah. we step in. Well, no, maybe. I'm not stepping in. <laughs> he says, never stepping in. Kush, maybe. I am also like a very maybe. And Manny's, yeah. I'll step in given on who's, who's doing it. So we're all cowards. Really. We're all cowards. <laughs> that's Beautiful. That's right. Let's move on. Fellas, 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 guess the sound is back. Before we jump into the game, we will talk about our games as a whole. Each game now will matter, boys, because now we will have a running scoreboard. So we can't choose to, Kush can't choose to throw away, finish the lyric one week because that might cost him, right? So what we're going to do is we're <laughs> going to have a running scoreboard every week. If you win the game, you get a point, right? And at the end of the quarter, month, week, year, whatever it may be, there'll be a forfeit, yep. which we will decide. And it's not going to be like a, it'll be a, Proper forfeit. It's not going to yeah. be fucking, mm. I don't know, walk on the you grass. You can't get off barefoot. easy. Exactly. It's like Ray eat the chili sauce type shit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Which he did for free in that <laughs> no, episode there, with Alex for some reason. It was also, that was a forfeit as well, but I didn't do it for free. No, I lost the, I lost the- um. You lost one game. The one, Yeah, the game. But this will be a bit more generous. You'll, if you lose, you know, the game over the multiple weeks, then then you cop the forfeit. You kind of deserve to if you've lost a lot of games in a row, but- yeah. That also means you penalize non-attendance because yeah, you have exactly. no chance to win the game. That is true. So <laughs> Why are you all myself at me? and Kush, I'll, I'll look at myself as well. Yeah. No holidays. No holidays. No holidays. So anyway, you and I will get some free Wait, points. We get any duo episodes. We'll play some games where we just, tie. Yeah, it's nice little <laughs> open layups for both of us. But yes, every Gets game will- football. Yeah. <laughs> every game will count and it'll start with this week. We'll get a scoreboard up on the shelf somewhere. But today's game is guess sound. It'll be very simple. I will play sound for Rohit. Sen will play sound for Kush. And the job is simple. You got to guess the sound. Most points win. I have five. You have five, Senny? Yeah. So we have five each. Best out of five wins. Senny, you can start with Kush's sound. Guess what this sound is. <laughs> One and done. One and done, done baby. <laughs> uh, surely the game is now. That's it. Only once. You can only hear it once. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Once. All right. I hope you heard that well then, Kush. <laughs> Now you can replay it. You can replay it. Maximum of twice then? That's it? Yeah, replay it one more time. One more time. One more time. Yeah, one right. replay. My recordings have four of the sound. Some of mine have multiple. Some, I just have one only. Okay. Yeah, you okay. can replay your recording. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. That's okay. Fine. Here, let's hear it. What? Dude, I have it somewhat of an idea what this is, but Kush. Don't say a lick. Right? This yeah. is going to be tough. It, it, Kush's world. It's, it's, it's almost like a fast tear. I don't think it's a paper tear because that's- it takes time. It takes time to almost go through the whole tear. So mm -hmm. I think this sounds like a nozzle spray in in my from my ears. You just said tear. But it's all it's got the same sound, like yeah, the same yeah, type gosh, of gosh. sound. Like what type of nozzle? That one. Oh, I played that. That but was not bad. That was class. <laughs> that was real good. Maybe Dare we should just do imitate the sound. <laughs> Recreate the sound. I I, I think I'm going to say that this is a spray bottle. I don't know what spray bottle is. I'm not going to name a specific No, you've got to be specific, surely. <laughs> I don't know what type of spray bottle. Well, I don't know. Okay. Because do I we, do we get a chance to steal? Let's get a chance to steal. Okay, I'm just going to say it. it's a spray bottle. You're spraying it, but it's it's empty. Nothing's coming out. All right. It, it, give us a chance to steal. Okay, I'll give you a chance to steal. Is it a joint effort? Let me and Manny can yeah, discuss yeah, yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm thinking it's like a cologne type. Cologne? I was thinking like a- Or Dio. Tissue. Oh really? Because I think it's a, I it's a quick like whip. Surely it's not a tissue box again. Dude. That oh. is true. I did use that sound last time, so it can't be. Dude, dude so you're thinking like a Lynx, like a Lynx Africa short, but it's too short, which is why I think it's a cologne because there's a very start and stop end date. So you think Sen got his three hundred dollar cologne <laughs> by the? Yeah, or is it a Red Bull opening or something? We're all over the place. Maybe we'll lock that one in. Which one? Can open, I reckon. Yeah, let's go. Uh, a Red, Bull. Red Bull, Red Bull, sugar-free, <laughs> uh, 250 mils opening. Are we doing exact answer or nearest to pin? So whoever's closest. Let's just say- It, Dep it depends how close you yeah. are. It was a deodorant. 
Oh, oh, I knew it. I think no points there. No points. Right. Kush, no, Kush said it was a spray. What spray did what you What type think? of spray? That's so, no, it has to be more specific than I spray said, I bottle. I said it was a spray bottle, so that's wrong. I think that's wrong. Okay. What spray bottle do you have in mind? I had like something like one of those. Like a, a, a Windex yeah, a type Windex thing. thing. Yeah. Oh, so okay, yeah, no, I think that's wrong. That was, yeah, Nivea for men deodorant. It sounded, oh. it sounded quite depthy, you know? Because I because if I did it too long, it would have been too obvious. Yeah, so I had correct. to do just a quick little bro. No, it was good. It was good. It had me all sorts of When there. Rose said Deodorant, I'm like, oh, fuck, Kush, yeah. you fucked it here. <sighs> I was going to get really angry at you. as well. <laughs> all right, let's oh, go. You, you went to the Red Bull camp. <laughs> 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 I'm like, bro, you're way off. No, because I, fine. quite frankly, I didn't think you were going to, like, uh, I didn't think, I think Deodorant for me is like a longer spray. That's why. You know what I mean? So. Just take us from him. It's take us. Mm, all right, awesome. here we go. All right. Guess what that sound is. Dude, how is that? E- That's not easy I at all. a whole range of things. I got three things that just popped I think Kush knew it from the first I sound. Think I, I think I've gotten that one. Uh, I don't know. Well, you two, you know, oh. pipe down and then row, let, let, let him cook. Let him cook. Okay. All I'm thinking at the moment is mechanical keyboard. I think it's like a, I Re- think. Reminder, I can oh. give you a second play. I'd like a second play. You'd like a second play? Thank all right, I'll that. give you a second one. But I'm thinking for, for some reason, I'm thinking keyboard. I'm thinking female acrylic nails on keyboard. I'll give you another play. It's a Dude. tough one, but Sen and I have got it. I think. Yeah, I we've, think, got I think it. we've got it. We've got it. I think I would. I think I think it sounds well. Maybe because you've said it to me, now I've got it in my head. When you've I heard, associated, I'm like, yeah, yeah, exactly. So I don't know. There's two like distinct sounds. I feel like it's very naily. Like there's a nail aspect, and mm. then it feels like you're pressing a space bar or clicking a mouse. And I don't know which it is, so I'm gonna go with my original instinct, and I'm gonna go. Keyboard. Keyboard? What's right. your boy's guess? Definitely not a keyboard. I would. I reckon it sounds more clicky if it would be yeah. a keyboard. And the way I saw this was there are, there are two distinct sounds, which is why Meeks played it for a set yeah. time, which is why it's not one key. I believe it is a pen and he has pushed the pen in and out because the out is a, you can hear the, a depthier you click. You can hear the spring <sighs> come back up. Is this correct, <laughs> Miguel? Bro, it is a pen click, <laughs> mate. Well done. Yes, and Kush is exactly correct. You press it in and then you press it out. Two distinct sounds, my friend. That's they, a massive blunder. They've got a steal. That's huge. That, that's right. huge from us. Is, that's a, huge. is a steal a double point? No, it's one point. It's one point. When we get a steal, it's quadruple points. <laughs> right. right, so Sand and Kush are one nil up against us. Have you ever thought of, you know how radio shows do the secret sound, Kush? Have you ever thought about like trying to do one of those? Oh, maybe. I reckon I'd be good at that. You, you nailed he didn't that get the first straight one. away. He didn't get the first one. <laughs> I was close. I was close. Was it was right so thing. was Ro. I was on the right track too. Well, no, he said a Red Bull can opening. I stuck with spray. <laughs> If you, if you get the next few, I'll back okay, sense claim okay, bit. Yeah. All right, All here right. we go. Guess what this sound is. One and none, baby. Would you like me to play it again, Kush? Yeah, play one more time for me. Okay. And I just want to say, these are all things that are in my house. So okay. Well, so you're already at a disadvantage because you haven't been in his house. Yeah, yeah. But but objects, certain objects are universal to a residence. Mm. A beeping sound can come from multiple multiple arenas. Can it can microwave perhaps? Could be, could be. <laughs> <laughs> but for this one, I will say not a microwave because there's a there's a sort of tune to this beep. It, it sort of goes up and down, Ooh. which is why. And I think that it only it only belongs to one object in the house, and I'm going to say it's a smoke alarm. So I Ooh, I would I was shout. thinking that's a smoke alarm, but I'm thinking I don't think it actually is. Because think I think the, the smoke alarm is a high pitched sound. I think it's a um, like oven alarm or a microwave alarm. <sighs> I was leaning towards garage. Oh garage. no no! When you press the beeper, nah, it wouldn't Sometimes. be. It wouldn't be. But that's not universal. Because there would be. A, you'd also hear the garage kind of correct. Mm. <laughs> you need the <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so what do you say, oven? Like mm. uh, you know, you know the alarm. Oh, I don't know now. Well, has Sen left his mic, uh, his fridge open for too long? That's another shout. <laughs> that is another shout. When you, <laughs> that's so rogue if it is. But <laughs> that's a you, that's a sound. That's a yeah. distinct sound. For some reason, I, I, maybe it is a smoke alarm. I think smoke. Now that I think about it, my smoke alarm does a dee like it does the same thing as well. But it's like a much higher pitch noise. I agree. For me as well, it's a higher pitch. Perhaps Sen. What did, um, what did Kush lock in? He, he locked in the smoke alarm, so we can't go. Oh, we can't go that. 
Yeah. Well, if you got it right, you have to say he's right. Yeah. We're just but like, you go for your guess anyway. Go for your guess anyway. We'll go for a guess. What do you think? <sighs> Dude, now, I'm, honestly, the, the pen clicking has rattled me. <laughs> I have no, trust your God. Trust your God. I have Don't no let faith that. in my confidence. Don't let that throw you. I want to go microwave. Microwave. I'll back that microwave. Uh, yeah, I just realized I wasted your and the listeners last like minute because Kush was absolutely yeah. spot Woo! on to begin with. <laughs> well done, brother. On the change, same wavelength. Change your batteries, mate. Sorry. No, no, it was fine, but there's a button you can press to test oh, it. Oh, he's got a little touch to it. I was it. giving you a little test. Honestly, I didn't think Sen was going to put in this much effort for this game. So I didn't think he was going to do like a smoke he's alarm. He's gone to the alarm and he's hit the button. I pressed the button. Because usually also, it's I needed pretty to high. test it as well. <laughs> you get the points on the well being, Qantas well being. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. All right, Ro, they are 2 0 up. We need to get this right, one. Yeah. Guess what that sound is? This is triggering, to be honest. Okay. Well, this is this is a. I mean, I think this is an easy one, but I actually don't use Microsoft Teams. I use Slack, but I still think it is the Microsoft Teams when someone calls you. Do you want to bother? Yeah, it is the Microsoft. Okay. Team. Well, you think it was? I thought it was a Skype for I a thought second. It was a Skype one. But it is the Teams. I'm it's pretty the sure teams? it's the it Teams. It absolutely is Microsoft Teams calling sound. Thank you very Let's much, Roe. Come on, two one, two one. Good stuff. Good stuff. That All sounded right. like Skype though, didn't it? Or- I, mean, I think no, Microsoft bought Skype, oh, yeah, so maybe they've bought the sounds. Fair enough. All right, next one. Guess what that sound is. <laughs> an Push. age old sound, an Do age you know old it? one. Yeah, this is. What is it? What is it? What is it, Kush? What is it? No, what no, is no, it? No, what no, is no, it? No, just, just. What just, is it? Everybody, calm down. All right, this is a boot up sound. It belongs to a device, and now I'm a bit. Is this Mac or is this the old Windows one? No. The, the... Oh, the pre- uh... don't worry. There's no pressure on you, Kush. You're two on up. You're two on up. I, 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 I think this is the MacBook. Boot up sound. I, I yeah, I'm gonna lock in MacBook boot up sound. This is the yeah MacBook Correct. Pro 2015. <laughs> Correct boot up sound. Is it the 20? I think it's just all of them. Yeah, it's all the of them. Even yeah. mine has that. Oh, uh, for a second, point. I thought maybe it was Windows, but no, nah, nah, Windows have got something different. Send us and waste your time on Windows. <laughs> yeah, please. All right, three one row. All right, we need to hit this. We need to hit the next couple and hope they just miss a pen here. They're, they're not as easy as the last one I gave you. All right, Ro, mm-hmm. guess what that sound is. Bro, ignore the birds. I was gonna say, are you shooting some birds? How can I ignore the birds? <laughs> <laughs> ignore the birds. I need a replay of that because uh, my head's all over the shop. Yeah, Give me one more is, go. Okay. Dude, why are there- There's three sounds. There's three clear okay, sounds. So or the, maybe the birds are a hint. I don't know. The, the underlying sound is like, I don't know. It feels like you're working on the railroads or something. There's like a, <laughs> a train. The birds means you're outside. And then there's like a- Thanks, mate. <laughs> there's like a, it feels like a, there's a Glock going off. I feel like it's the Nerf gun that you're just reloading and shooting low key. But would you be shooting that outside? So the sound I'm supposed to guess, is it that- Yes. That sound. Okay. All right. Because I did hear some sort of motor running as well. No, but- not not some motor and not the birds. Okay. All right. You made it pretty tough here. I have no idea. I realize idea. this is a tough one. I will break it down, bro. It's your outside. I think it's a basketball bouncing. There you guess. That's my guess. It's your guess. I was actually going to think it was ball bouncing as well. It definitely felt like he was bouncing it up and down. But the- I got no idea. I'll be honest with you. I think the fact that it was it just took long to come back to him, you know, the, the ball bounce. Cause it's, it's not like a stop start sound. He said maybe the birds are a cl- uh, hint. Birds now are- to me, that means nothing, but maybe to you that helps. I don't know. Outdoor, maybe yeah, I've gathered that much, mate. Lawn mower. Don't look at me, I'm not on your team. I'm not <laughs> gonna help. Look at your mate. Send we, we, we think of anything here at all. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's a ball bouncing. It, I, I feel like it's too long to come back yeah. and bounce down. Um, I think it'd be much quicker. Um, BB gun maybe. Hints to the birds. Hunter, he, hunters and gathering. Is he throwing a dart? I don't know. Is he? I'll let you have this one, because You just guess whatever you want. Because I think Rose got it wrong anyway. So I think you're using some sort of garden tool and you're knocking it down on a tile. That's what I'm going to say. 
How specific do we have to be? Or how correct do we have to be? We said If exactly it's a ball bouncing, give it to me. Oh, well, you're not getting it. It's a basketball swish. No, that's not close. Yeah, no, that's, that's not, not close. close. That's not it's close. a completely <laughs> different sound. You got completely... the right ball, but you got the right ball. Oh. You got the right ball, but it's a completely different sound. Wait, can you play it again? That's that doesn't not a sound, swish. Dude, that doesn't sound like a swish. It's when the net like hits. You know, right, when play you it again, play it again. Dude, no, no way. Brother, I one. found that... a video online where I saw the basketball go in the hoop and it made this sound. That's a tough one, bro. It's a tough one. It's a one. tough one. That's on Unfortunate. me. Unfortunate. All right. The yeah, birds that's... do overtake everything. <laughs> <laughs> like it's all I can think about. That's on me, all right? They th- three one up. That's all right. We, need, we can right. get a steal here. Oh, a steal would be huge. Next one, Kush. Got two more to go. Guess what this sound is? I hate these crunch sounds because they could be anything. Uh, it could be you stepping on something. It could be you popping them little things on the, what do you call them, bubble wrap. It could be you eating a cracker. Play it again one more time, please. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like Ro knew what it was. That's all I'm going to say. Tough. This oh. is tough. Oh, Maddie, I'm a bit worried here. This is tough. So this one's tough. He's not eating anything. He's definitely not eating anything. I, I think send your Stop giving them clues, bro. True, true. Let me just think about it on my head in my head then. <laughs> nah, <laughs> no, 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 the demons. Uh, I forgot it's an auditory podcast. <laughs> um Yeah, I, I, I think I think that's clear though. He's clearly not eating anything. How do you know that? Um well it'd be a very odd robotic way to eat. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um oh, this is so tough. I I think you're breaking a, a wafer cracker, tearing it in two. That's what I'm thinking. Your guess? Yeah, that's my guess. I'm thinking some sort of like paper or wrapper. Am I completely off what you're thinking? Paper and wrapper? Like he's like scrunching a chips packet, for example. Yes. Yeah, so I, I was thinking along those lines as well. Yeah. Because I don't think he was eating it because I think I didn't hear this teeth. I just heard. So you reckon crunching a chip? No, but I didn't hear teeth. That's what I'm saying. That's as in I'm, with a hand or something. Yeah, it's a bit like I think a wrapper and a paper is is similar to where I'm thinking as well. But then he did get kind of defensive when Kush said it's a robotic way to eat. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he did drop a. Oh wow. <laughs> He's like, oh okay. Um, uh, nah, nah, nah. I don't. I don't think so. Senny's a, a master let, of deception. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go like that. I'm, I'm down Which, to ooh. like I don't know, crushing some sort of packaging. A packaging. Yeah. Yeah, that's our guess. You're both incorrect. Everyone's incorrect. It is me using the Himalayan pink rock salt shaker or grinder. Oh. oh. Can we hear it again? Yeah, no, that's that's fair. Oh, you hear the, yeah. sa- the yeah, salt? It's a grinding, yeah. The salt is breaking. Oh, that's oh, good. That's good gosh. sound. That's a good sound. Right. This is like a must get for us here. All right, Ro, this is a sound I know you know. So if you don't get this, this is kind of on you. Softball here. Guess what that sound is? Dude, <laughs> all our faces just <laughs> bro. What? Uh, right. That's tough, man. I mean, we're gonna have to ask for it one more time. Give it. I'll be. I'll say that. You, you just sit out. <laughs> Give it to me one more time. <laughs> Dude, I feel like there could be any number of sounds. Yeah, that's, I got no idea, bro. Okay, I'm thinking. You do the game. You know, you all laughed at Kush when he had to do it. Yeah, it was tough, wasn't it? It's tough, isn't I, it? When, when I was doing, I think these are way harder because when, when you were doing the Guess the Sound Challenge and I was listening along, I got like 95% of them. <laughs> yeah, like all the Fortnite Warzone ones. That's what you all say yeah. until you're in the mixer. Until you're in the mixer, man. I reckon people at home are like, fuck, you didn't get that those ones. That grinder one sounded all right, didn't it? But after we, we figured it out. Manny, for some reason, okay, you said you do know this sound. For some reason, I'm thinking it's like carpentry and you're hammering a nail, but I'm like, nah, maybe not. Then I'm thinking it's like a ping pong ball bouncing. I don't know. Talk, talk, talk. Uh, what are we thinking, Eero? Do you have any ideas? Uh, we, d- we do, but we'll tell you after. We'll you tell t- you after. Can I get like a hint? Like no, a phone no, a friend? No, there's no oh, this time. Suddenly there's hints <laughs> now. Uh, there? Here we go. I'm so sorry, Miguel. No, there's, no, there's no hints these days now. Come on. <sighs> I'm going to go, yeah. You're doing some handiwork. You're hammering <laughs> some stuff. 
A sound Ro would know, apparently. <laughs> Real well. All right, Kush. I think it's to do with cricket. I I I think he's he's hitting a stump in, or he's it's a ball coming off uh, a bat. I thought that initially as well, but then where in this house, or when have you ever seen Manny? Oh, but maybe he's taking it from online somewhere. You reckon? Yeah, it could be that. Oh, well, what is it? A sound that Ro can know? It's something to do with a dog? Or hitting a dog? <laughs> <laughs> maybe it is. Uh, yeah, I think it is cricket related. It has to be. I, a bit racially motivated. <laughs> yeah, I look. It doesn't matter what we say. Okay, we, we're gonna say it's a stump. You're hitting a stump. It is a credit card tapping on a table. Oh, <laughs> I got the right. <laughs> that is the so, biggest stitch of all right, time. That's on you. That's that, tough. That is actually really tough. That is the most <laughs> niche thing I've ever heard in my life. Yes, should be familiar. Okay, so the score is three one. Yeah. So you have one more. You have, have one, one more. more. We have one more. Our so we can we can draw. draw if we steal theirs and right. get our last one. We got this sound. Come on, let's All hear right. it. Guess what this sound is. <laughs> what <laughs> the <laughs> fuck? I got it. All right. Oh no! <laughs> let's go. Should have chosen an easier one. Okay, give me give me another. Give me another. One, All right. I apologize, Kush. I you, might not have it. I there's one part Manny, of the sound. I wasn't even listening to it because I thought nah, you got I, got, it. I, I think I got. I think <laughs> I got. I think I got it. There's one part of the sound that makes me think what I think it is. But oh, there's two things coming to mind. A, you're outside. But if you're outside, I'd be hearing a lot more. This feels like it's inside. It's an object in the kitchen. I'm gonna say it's a blender or like it's orange juice and he's squeezing the orange juice and it's like it's it, it's a machine that's creating juice is what I'm gonna say. It's a juicer. A juicer, a juicer or a blender. It's one of those. Is that your guess? Yes. I'm thinking coffee machine. I love that idea. I love I'm that. I'm thinking coffee, ah, espresso machine. I love that ah, Coffee you, machine. Is. Locking it in. Manny is no. spot on. It is an <laughs> espresso machine. Oh. oh, mate, that's class. Manny's kept us in the game. Oh, man. Man. A coffee drinker Alrighty. as well, you bust. I have one sound. Please. Please. This is <laughs> Manny's. <laughs> Manny's on his set at the end of the bargain. I now think I'm going to hear some chirp from comeback. some people, but that's right. All right. Ro, last one. Guess what that sound is. Oh, what is this? <laughs> That's a good sound. It's a good one. Okay, I think this is Slack. I think this is Slack. Oh, would you go Teams and Slack? Was, were you was Teams? Were you Teams Mix? Yeah, I think you would go Teams and Slack. All right. I think that's when you get a message on Slack. Are locking that in? I locked that in. What are you boys guessing? Oh, I'm pretty sure it is Slack. I'm thinking Slack or Facebook. No, nah, definitely not Facebook. Because I don't I don't I hear that sound often. I definitely don't have so Facebook. It's Facebook. It's definitely Slack. It's either a notification or it's I think it's a DM. It's a Slack. You're getting a message on Slack. Well, it's a shame you can't have the same answer because Rose got it. Come on! That is <laughs> icy, dude. All Let's right. go. Aww. We gotta we gotta go one one more. I've got one more. I've got a few more sounds. So I have go. one more. Okay. Oh, okay. So All we'll right. go one more each. <laughs> one more each. And this is sudden death, make or break. Wow, Steel's wait. still in play. Mate, what a comeback. What a, <laughs> I left the best one till last, yeah, mate. Wow. wow. All right. Precious <laughs> Kush is not happy. <laughs> you had right, a three one. Right. Three one. Don't blow three one lead. I blew it. All right. Guess what this sound is? <laughs> the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Okay, this is kind of a free ball. If we steal, we win. Yeah, if you steal, you win. That I'll is true. Yours then, and then we draw. I'll give you that one one more time. <laughs> true. Push. Yeah. Now, sudden, surely sudden death. Yeah, this is sudden death now. See, this is what I would have associated with the smoke alarm. Like that level of high frequency. I have a few guesses. We'll see where Kush goes. We'll, we'll see where Kush goes. That's right, that's right. I didn't think it would get this far, dude. <laughs> this beep sound, I'm, I can think of one object that's doing it. Oh, I don't think it's the PlayStation 5 sound when there's not a disc inside. I don't think it's that because it makes a multiple beep sound. And does Sen have a disc console? No, he doesn't. Oh, okay. Um, <sighs> Looking to the neon sign for inspiration. I can't. I can't hear it one more time, so I'm just trying to. Beep. I know you would have heard this sound. <laughs> he knows. He knows that I would have heard it. What could I? 
Oh, this one's tough, Sen. I'm sorry. This one's tough. The beep sounds always get you because there's so many things that beep, man, mm. including when Mig says this ah, C word. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, uh, this one's tough for me. I'm just going to lock in. Uh, I'm going to lock in. I'm going to lock in. I'm going to lock in. It's a micro beep sound. All right. What are you thinking? I was thinking, I don't know how recent and modern sense toaster is, but I used to have a toaster that used to make that sound when the toaster was ready. That's like a new toaster, not a classic, like just toaster shoots up. Really? The toast what? goes up slowly and it's like, Oh, beep. okay. Wow. Okay. I got that. Microwave, you said microwave. Yeah. That's also a good shout. I thought it was microwave or the, what you said before, the fridge. <gasps> Left the fridge on for too long. For too long. Oh, but that's would he, that's just, send us the patience to sit there, open the fridge for five minutes. I think he does, he's bored. He's a bored man sometimes. It's not five minutes, it's always one minute. Okay. 60 seconds. Probably making himself a juice or something. <laughs> A coffee. A coffee, sorry. He's done the two in one. <laughs> what are the chances that Sen has a really modern toaster? I think may, maybe- no, Moderate, modern. moderate. He's got a coffee machine. I, I think- oh. Yeah, but that's not like a fancy coffee. That's a co sound of all coffee machines. Yeah. But even if it's fancy, like people get fancy coffee machines. Like my toaster, I had for years oh. until I replaced, replaced it recently. But if you're saying- I'm talking like KitchenAid toaster, not like fucking a thousand dollar toaster. I'm talking just- Okay. Probably bought a toast in the last five years. If I had to guess, I would go the fridge. I've never heard this toaster, so I I can only trust oh. what you say. Oh. Send. Go fridge. We'll go fridge. Are you sure? I'm Ooh. happy to go toaster. I'm happy to go toaster. Ooh. No, I feel like a fridge doesn't make just one sound. My one makes one sound, but multiple times. Like beep, and then like five seconds later, beep. Yeah, it does do that. That's the same as mine. What does yours do? I'm torn. I'm torn. I actually don't know. This fridge is too advanced. I feel like it's like a two two tone sound, two -tone. maybe. No, I don't think. Or, is or a, a constant tone. beep for like five seconds. I think. All right, guys, running out of time here. Let's lock it in. You, I'm gonna leave this in your hands. Toaster. Maybe. Don't tell me it's a toaster. You should listen to Row. Oh. It is indeed my fridge, and you oh. actually got the. It was me. I've put the Nespresso oh, machine. Wow. I recorded that. <laughs> Oh my God. I opened the fridge, started the Nespresso machine, did the smoke alarm, and then came back and waited for the I knew you did all three in one. I did it all this morning. That's, right, right. that's on me, that's, that's right. on me. We got one more chance. Well, the, oh, okay, well, I got a sound. All right, let's do if it. If we get it, we win. If you steal it, you win. Oh. This is my last sound actually. So guess that sound. I know right. exactly what that is. I, 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 I know yeah. exactly what that Pressure's is. Pressure's on, bro. I know exactly what that is, I think. And I think, <laughs> <laughs> and I think it's you spinning a coin. That's what I think it is. But it could be any realistic metallic object. But I'm gonna lock in, it is a coin spinning. I was gonna say the same thing. What if we get the exact scent? Do we win? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> It might not be a coin. That's what I'm, that's what, that's exactly. For fun, for fun. If you can get what coin no, it is. No, no, <laughs> no, no, we, no. It is a coin spinning yeah. on a table. I think it's Whoa! 20 cents. What do you, for fun, what do you think it is? I think Send. it's 20 cents. I'll say a dollar. What do you think it is? I don't care, I want. <laughs> well, yeah, it's, you got it wrong as well. What is, what was it? It's $2. There you go. I got Rich the big denominations, baby. We win that, what was it? Oh, four, three, four, three, five, yeah. four, no, four, three. Four, three. Point to me in a row, unlucky oh. boys, off to a bad start. Breaking news, Manscapes now has beard products available in your country. Yo. That is right. They are once again revolutionizing men's grooming with the brand new Beard Hedger Pro Kit. From a beard trim to a fresh shave, the technology behind the Beard Trimmer Pro Kit allows you to shape your signature beard like never before. Look, we talked about this last week. The Beard Hedger Kit is an unbelievable uh, product. Like I said last time, it has 20 cutting lengths. So whatever length you want, you can actually get. But- I didn't say what actually was in the box. All right, tell me. You gotta right. tell me now. We've got the box here, right? Manny's showing us what's in there, right? Look at the, first of all, look at the craftsmanship. Look at the packaging. Right, the opening, right. the unboxing experience, first of all, just makes it worth the money in and of itself. But not only that, you've got the beard shampoo and conditioner. Because no think about this, right? Your hair is different, mm. right? On your beard compared to your head. So sure. you can't just use regular shampoo. You're not, you know, you're not in the Neanderthal. <laughs> you need to remember, that beard hair is like coarser. It's easier to damage mm. than hair on your head. 
And so the kit actually has shampoo and conditioner specifically designed to moisturize, reduce ingrown hairs, replace natural oils and promote beard health. Class. Not only that, the kit has beard oil, right? What does that do? That helps relieve dryness. Now, Kush, you're the only one here that has a beard. Sen has one budding. Yeah. <laughs> but like how many times have you felt ingrown hairs and you felt the beard is coarse, right? The cor- coarse is always there. You know, you always perhaps, sometimes you find yourself just scratching, just scratching away. And then it hits you. You got some rough hair, man. You got it's some not rough nice. hair. So chuck some beard oil and honestly, it'll make you feel better, right? And top it all off, you've got beard balm. Now, what is beard balm, you may ask? The double B's. The double B's. It's a pomade that shapes, styles, and moisturizes and tames for a sculpted look to attract any fellows or dames. Oh, hello. So it's like it's like beard gel, essentially. Just so you can style it much easier. So next week, bro, mm. I should come in with this beard, but I will use the gel. Please. I will use the shampoo. I will use the conditioner and I will use the trimmer. And then you tell me how damn Yeah, we'll do it I before looks, and after, right? And go to manscaped.com. Use the code TCB. Get 20% off and free shipping. Manscaped.com, TCB. Get yourself a kit. We're bringing back Red Handed. This is the segment where we talk about when you were caught at work doing things you shouldn't be doing, or in our case, when you get caught at work actually doing work for once. (laughs) We have a listener submission to start us off this week from the big Jack Scully. Lovely. Um... He hasn't said where he works, so that's a good start. Mm. But he, uh, he is a bit, it's a bit of a long one, so strap in, boys. So he says, having my tri-weekly catch-up once every three weeks, not three times a week, he says. Save <laughs> Thank you for clarification. That would yeah. have been a question. Yeah. So he saves up episodes for long drives, and the segment on Court Red Hander caught my attention because, boy, do I have a story for you. So I work for a pretty decent company. No idea how I got this job there. Maybe my OG shout for you boys saying if anyone has a job for Jack worked. We'll take that. But to set the bar, it's like a Fortune 500 company. And he even put in brackets flex. Thanks, mm, Jack. Thanks, man. Self-aware. It's not as strict as some shitty consulting company. <laughs> pew, pew. Taking shots at someone here. I don't know. Uh, but there is an expectation that within the working hours, it is only your job. So I go into stand up in the morning thinking that it'll just be a standard Tuesday pretend I did something the day before and that my two days (laughs) worth of work is actually a full sprint capacity and hope people don't ask me too many questions. Never been a fan of stand-ups, particularly as we have had a new scrum master who was anal about starting and finishing to the exact minute and nothing could be done around that. So first little rant, sorry, not sorry, if this is any of your jobs, but scrum master, I think will never, sorry, he writes weirdly, (laughs) cut that out. (laughs) Actually, no. You know what? Leave that in, Jack. <laughs> Fucking hell. Get some punctuation in here, mate. Dude, Kush, look at that. That is all. That entire is one Ooh. sentence. Okay, that's tough. All right, that's this tough is all one it. sentence. So if it sounds weird, blame Jack. So first little rant. Sorry, not sorry. If any of this, if this is any of your job roles, but Scrum Master, I will never think otherwise, is the most pointless job in the world. Mm. Like aside, chairing a 15-minute meeting at the start of the day, what do they do? For the rest of the working week, absolutely stealing a living. (laughs) (laughs) So this guy, let's call him Scott Lang, does the stand up, is as strict as ever in the timings and it starts running a couple minutes over and he is visibly agitated. (laughs) And in a hurry, thought he ended the meeting when in fact, I'm guessing all he did was mute us all and minimize the window. window. Then on camera, the guy opens up a second laptop (laughs) and starts delivering a second stand up to what is clearly not our company. Talking to names no one recognizes and projects no one's ever heard of. <laughs> the guy didn't realize for so long, the entire stand-up of our other company, that our BA invited both the general manager manager and the HR rep into the call so they could see and evidence what had happened. <laughs> oh, blunder. Wow. Anyway, next day in the stand-up, funnily enough, the guy wasn't there and we don't have a scrum master anymore. So I guess that kind of proves that they are pro- pointless as we haven't want, had one since. And that was like six months ago. God knows what he's doing now, probably working in a Baskin and Robbins or something. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what would you do in that situation? Double down and own it. Pretend it's part of a improv routine, a weird <laughs> kink in the partner with a partner interested how you would react. First of all, I agree. Scrum masters, 
project managers, project directors, useless. Yeah, they're so all I useless. I don't work in tech, so I don't know what the fuck a scrum master is. Can so my mom's a scrum it? master. So your mom, personally, lovely lady, <laughs> lovely lady, job, maybe not so much. To be honest, it seems pretty cruisy. Like all you do is facilitate these rituals. Mm. So like the standups, every, like every, every day you just facilitate the stand up, and then you just make sure everyone is adhering to agile and scrum principles. That's literally your job and you get paid like crazy money. Really? Yeah. yeah. So what I've encountered is so like, we have a lot of clients, right? And we're on a, we've got a budget, right? You got a budget and you got deliverables to deliver yeah. certain things. All they do is make sure, send you're doing your job, Kush you're doing your job, Ro you're doing jo your job, I'm doing my job. That's all they fucking do. They don't know shit, right? So like, they don't have any technical experience. The client comes to them with questions. They come to me. You know what I mean? It's like they are just a middleman. Uh, they're the middleman. Oh, okay, yeah. right. So literally cut them, upskill us, you know, for a fucking week. Job sorted. So in this case, the scrum master has two scrum masters. I roles. love that. That is so audacious. <laughs> He's overemployed, you know, and, and <laughs> this is massive in COVID. Do you see all the stories about all these yeah. like software engineers just working multiple uh. software engineering jobs because- I mean, as long as you get the work done, remote, the work's done. So exactly. So you're picking up like what, 300, 400,000 combined between all your jobs. That's but who's you're... the narc that invited the general manager and stuff? Yeah, that... <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's not on. You that's have to leave on. it as a funny story that happened, you know? You yeah. Don't... You like, okay. If I saw my scrum master or whoever, someone in my company working a second job, I would not care to be honest, because like you said, the scrum, scrum master position is useless. It's not like him doing, you know, his job, his second job affects me in any way. True. Brother, you go you go along. And he's fighting the HR person and the general manager <laughs> on the call to watch this malarkey happen. I think it affects, whoever did that affects them principally, from a principal standpoint. I understand yeah. that. But that's just because they're mad they don't have a second job. Uh, yeah. Well, I think it's they're mad they don't have the scrum master job. Because that job, <laughs> man, I would take that in the heartbeat. <laughs> Are you kidding me? All you have to do is just like, Rohit, you're on track for X, X amount of you know tasks, done. I've done my job. I've literally done my job. That's it. Mm -hmm. Probably only six figures. Now imagine that double, double time. Double, That's yeah. true. Whew. I'm a bit, um, yeah, I think it's, it's a little bit, uh, this guy had one job to just close the window, <laughs> like close yeah, the meeting. Do you know what I mean? It's like, man, what are you doing? He blundered a big time for himself. Massively. Like you, you've got the best of both worlds. That no one so knows anything. Yeah. No one's none the wiser. And then you literally just, you exit. And it's not even a big deal if you rock up two minutes late to your other stand up. Just tell them something yeah, exactly. happened. Like when I rock up late to my stand ups, I only have one job, but it's not a big deal. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Because it's like, oh, sorry, like, you know, I was in another meeting or yeah. I, you know, oh, my internet, internet was issues, down. Wi Fi issues. And yeah. sometimes it's actually the case. So it's like, it's not even <laughs> lying. And, uh, anyways, but. So what would you do in that scenario? Kush? As in who? But who are you? Are you the Let's scrum? Let's say I'm the scrum master. How do you, he's like, how are you playing it off? I think it's really hard once the general manager sees. You, like, you can't play it off. You can only play it off if they didn't see with their own eyes. Because if they got ratted at, like let's say I was a scrum master and Kush complains to HR and he's like, oh, I think this guy has a second job. I'll be like, no, I don't. How can you prove it? Yeah, how can you prove it? But yeah. the fact that these guys have seen it with their own eyes yeah, it's, makes it difficult. Yeah. You reckon you lose the other job as well? No, nah, no. Nah. The other job is on the wiser. Yeah. No, I think, I think you might Why? lose the other job because I think like, Employees talk about this yeah. sort of stuff. Like, I feel like they'd be a bit vindictive and be like to the other employer, you got to go. But then again, they might not know who they are. So so maybe you keep that other job and then just find another one as well. A third one. Like, this is a great idea. <laughs> yeah, be already exactly. gone from the first one. Yeah. Dude, so, is this what, is this the future of employment? Overemployment is a, yeah. It, I mean, if you get caught, the thing is I couldn't do it because it's pretty stressful. Like I feel like if you mm. have meetings conflicting, it's just like, Dude, this yeah. is just a mad amount of stress. You have to juggle have two for. calendars. Yeah. Fuck that. You can barely do one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So for me, it's not worth it. Should we be applauding this guy then? Really? That's quite impressive. It is impressive. Yeah, if he didn't stuff up. Yeah. That, oh, that's, you know oh, this, so, I feel so bad for him. You know what this reminds me of? How, when people have double lives. How do you mm. have time for a double life? Mm. It's a little like a modern day catch me if you can. You know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, Leonardo DiCaprio like playing a two man Google calendar role. Is it a crime though? Yeah. I think in the crime. contract, it, it's not there, a crime. there are things in the contract. It's not a crime. It's not no. a crime. But it's contractually. But contractually, like, I think yeah. you're, bre you're breaking your contract. Probably can't work at a competitor or something like that, you know? Because it's like, cause you, you're literally working two jobs in the set. He's not working nine to five and then five till nine. Do you know what I mean? He's literally working nine That's to five, true. two jobs. So like true. they pay you for 40 hours a week. But so you're only doing about- Probably 20. Yeah. If that. If that, yeah. yeah. For both. 20 for both maybe. 
So I feel like that, yeah, it's hard to do much, especially with the HR. Like, honestly, respect the guy for, for giving it a go. Who yeah. knows how long he's had this second job for. <laughs> but like my advice is if you want to get a second job, do one that's less stress. Like yeah, don't do exactly. a scrum master, scrum master, brother. Like mm. I, I know you're getting, you're getting greedy at that point. <laughs> <laughs> Be a scrum master and then like what do something where there's Uber like- Uber Eats driver or something. Yeah, actually, actually work at Baskin Robbins if you wanted to. You know, <laughs> yeah. Actually go there. Do the scrums th- from Baskin Robbins. <laughs> Done. <laughs> In the, in the staff Get a room. job in another industry, surely. I That's think so. gotta be. You can't do two jobs in the same industry. No way. Can't no. handle that. That's too no. much. Alrighty, I got one for this week and it's more so to uh, clarify what you boys have said last time. You basically said I got sacked from an old employer because I was doing some things non-compliant, which is true, <laughs> <laughs> but I want End to clarify story. how I was non-compliant, all right? right? Here you go. So this is back in the day, or well, not back in the day, but this is when, you know, before COVID when, when you're at work, you're expected to fucking work, right? Mm. You're not there to fuck around, whatever. Um, and this was a place where I was on rostered hours. Um, and then me and my mate, we started as interns, right? So we were like, we connected a bond, whatever. And then this is a place where it depends on how many tasks come in, right? So if there's not a lot of tasks, you're not busy. But if there's a lot of tasks, you're busy. And it's like supply and demand. It's not like you have work all the time, right? So in the beginning, when we didn't have many tasks, we're like, fuck, we're bored, right? Let's. I'll yarn to you, yarn to me, let's walk to the kitchen, wherever, right? And it progressed to a point where, you know, this is a two monitor situation. On one monitor, I have the company p- portal. The other monitor, I have an illegal stream of the NBA, right? <laughs> <laughs> and then, but what's, fu- what's fucked up, right, is this is when, do you remember when Kawhi hit that buzzer beater against- Oh, Philadelphia. Philadelphia, right? And it was like, and it was like, a, um, like it was a shot, like you're like, Game oh my God, hands are head standing yeah, yeah. up, right? So I'm watching that, right? That was insane. But the <laughs> fucked up thing is so many other people are watching it around the office mm. and we're all on different streams, right? Different illegal streams. So we're all happening at different times. So slowly one by one, everyone's going up in arms and like reacting. <laughs> and then my manager, messaged me in Slack saying, fuck, did you see that shot? (laughs) Right? So he knows, he knew what was going on, right? And then apparently, and then <laughs> apparently another week I was like on the iconic, yeah. like just doing some online shopping. As you do. And then I know during some holiday period, this is not even known for some whole, during a holiday period, there wasn't many people in or a weekend. I think I worked. I was watching like the Deji KSI beef <laughs> <laughs> like, and it was pretty half So I was like kind of teary for yeah. a bit. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like fully invested. Mind you, I was getting all the work done though, right? Mm. I want to put that out there. I got getting all the work done. Working on the output. Slash simultaneously, but it was all mm. getting done. I was never behind in anything, right? And what got me done was, so the way it worked was there were banks of tables. It's, it's like a open space where, you know, CEO sits next to the associate, you know, that sort of thing. Mm. Everyone sits each other, just banks of tables, right? And the table I was sitting on, you could see the monitors from the entrance and also the boardroom, mm. right? So announced to me, right? There was a fucking investor meeting going on. Right, CEO, CFO, <laughs> probably, and head of, head ofs are in this meeting with potential investors. Right, wow. what were me and my mate doing? We were on the iconic. Oh. We're shopping. He was trying to buy Iron Williams. I remember this distinctly. <laughs> right, and I was probably looking at his like not even at my monitor, yeah. like on his screen, just staring at it. Right, and then I was also like on my phone. Right. And before this, like a week or two ago, I got a little warning, not a warning, but it was just like, I made like a couple of notes you're on your phone. You know, that's fine. You know, if you need to use it, you know, go to the bathroom or whatever. But like, you know, when you're at your desk, don't look like you're fucking around. Mm. Fair enough, right? So that, I had that chat. And then after this meeting, like I walked to the kitchen, like trying to get a glass of water, like happy and jolly. And then like <laughs> some head of something come up to me, like stern as well, like, what did I tell you about being on your phone? Like, don't do that again. Oh God. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, fuck, what's going on here, right? And then, like put the piece together. We hear that there was an investor meeting. They saw her on our phones. It wasn't, a, you know, it wasn't a good representation of the company. And I don't think they invested, right? And then a week later, I come in for a shift, get the meeting, like with head of HR, head of legal as well. Like, Ooh. mate, sorry, sorry to tell you this, but we've warned you before. Ooh. Getting the boot. Gotta go. That's, oh, tough. That's tough. Did yeah. your intern mate get sacked as well? Uh, he wasn't at work that day, but I text him like, brother, you're gonna get the sack. If you want to quit before that, just- Wait, how do you know he was gonna get the sack? But we were both, like they told me. Did he get the warning? He didn't get the warning, but he's gonna get the sack. Uh, so he was a one strike. You you at least 
Yeah, you got you, two strikes. You man. live to see another day. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's my my tale. I think we told the story like you sent a million mass, like you literally sent like a hundred thousand. Oh yeah, on I Slack. remember that. that was true. That was someone else. <laughs> Those are other people. <laughs> Wait, what? So you on Slack, the admins can see how many messages I sent per user, right? And then these two were known to just fucking nonstop just chatting, right? So then when we had these company wide meetings, one time it was like. This month, you know, we had fucking 10 million Slack messages sent. And then they called them out in the meeting, I think. Oh my God. And it was like Rohit, for example, like Rohit Kush, you sent 100,000 messages this week. So guys- That's wild. What's the problem? Guys, let's try, the and, with, right? <laughs> <laughs> let's try and limit the messages, you know, we'll keep it work, <laughs> keep it profesh, et cetera, et cetera. Hey, for all they know, that could have all just been like actual work related messages. Well, that's an indictment on the workplace, isn't it? That's the sort of place that it was. Yeah, oh, hell. that's wild. And the I name of it. the company is. <laughs> 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 that's another one to bleep. Push. <laughs> I love the um, I love the the, the basketball story. His manager going fuck what a shot. <laughs> Did you see that shot? It's it's insane because I looked around. So many people had it fucking open. So it wasn't just me. No, like that. That seems pretty common. Like in my workplace, when the NBA finals are on, like. Everyone is just watch, like yeah. people will just put on the TV and then yeah. it's like an hour or two out of the day. Everyone just watch the NBA yeah. finals, like the fourth quarter or whatever. Yeah, like no dramas whatsoever. Yeah, but this sort of job, like you know, answering phone calls, live chatting, and shit like that. Like I was customer support, basically it required that sort you. of thing. Mm. So I needed to be when someone calls in, I need to be ready. It's you know the expectation I mean? you should be always ready. You know? So like free. it's not like I have a task due by Friday. I just need to get it done by Friday. So yeah, but you reckon now different. your current place, you can happily. Well, also like um, at our desk, when the NBA finals were on, for example, if we couldn't go down to the pub to watch it, we would just get up on our phone, like sports bet. You need to deposit a dollar into your account and you can watch all the games for free. I hate when I accidentally up on phone. bet all my money away and I need to put in <laughs> yeah. more money One so dollar. I can watch it so on yeah, the Yeah, we were just bet. having it up on our, like people were walking past and saw us watching it. Like it's just no worries, yeah. yeah. Sports, I, I feel well, like yeah. no, no, no issues. No issues, watch yeah. Big sporting events, like no one has an issue I reckon if you're whopping up, you know, Witcher season three, episode yeah, one. That's, then, yeah, yeah. That's, that's a little, that's a little <laughs> dicey. Sorry, I'm up to a really good episode. <laughs> yeah, that's what about online that. shopping? You reckon if someone walks past and you're on the Iconic, people are- that's, I think that's weird. I think that's weird. No, I think I've seen people do it as well. I think it's fine as well. I think that's fair play. I've I reckon seen... if you're doing it for a long time where you've also got another person Dude, watching you I told well. you people uh, had Taylor Swift like ticket tech up on three different screens. Like what's the difference between that and the Iconic? I think mm. time sensitive things, right? Sport is live. You got to watch that live. We don't have to, but you're watching it live. Taylor Swift, you can't wait till after work, exactly. right? Exactly. Yeah, it's good point. Good point. The, Iconic, the, R the, RMs, they can wait. The <laughs> RMs you're about to buy, you can buy that at 5.30 PM later today. Yeah. You know what, rightfully so. Yeah, I'll put my hands up <laughs> on me, on me, but it is what it is. Anyone else been fired like that? Got the flick? I've no. never been no. given the flick. I've never been. Oh, you, need, student you student. need experience at once, I reckon. No, I'm you right, need thanks. <laughs> no I, re I reckon you do. I got done with HR. So my red handed so I got on as well. So like you actually low key, some of you guys were part of the problem as oh, to why I got I done know what oh, this is. in okay. HR. So like at my old workplace, I used to work at like a tech, company and basically every Friday there was like Friday drinks and like snacks and all this sort of stuff, right? And like the Friday drinks was like a drinks cart and it was just like wheeled out for people. And so actually the first thing was we used to have like these dress up days. And so we actually dressed up one time as like like Mexican gangsters. Why did uh, you do that, Ro? As in like that, I didn't suggest this idea. Like my boss suggested the idea. Your boss, okay. Everyone would dress up as these different characters every week, except mostly it's like Teletubbies or like bananas. And we were like, and we just dressed up as Mexicans essentially, <laughs> right? No tact or anything. And then HR <laughs> like came up to us and it was like, look, that's pretty like insensitive. Um, Fair enough. Don't do that again. So that was strike number one. Okay. Strike cool. number two is, yeah, we have these drinks carts that get rolled out every Friday and then mm. people just leave. And there's so many drinks left over on that Friday night. And so I used to get into the habit of like pre-drinking at my work and then going out and meeting like Santa Migs and, and stuff in the evening. And then like when we went to a pub, we were at that time still in uni or like maybe just finished uni. And so mm. like we weren't ballers. And so buying drinks at the pub was getting expensive and we didn't want to have like, you know, a hundred dollar nights out every single week. So we're like, all right, well we'll do. I was like, don't worry about it boys. Let's come back to my office. Let's just raid the pantry and the drinks cabinet, <laughs> no dramas at all. So that went on for weeks um, with, without a hitch. And one day we walk in and one of my friends 
Not my friends, actually. One of my colleagues. Ooh, Let's make that clear. Let's make yeah, the yeah, distinction yeah. clear. Acquaintances. He, he's in the office. By the way, coked out of his mind, right? <laughs> <Okay>. but <laughs> Allegedly. He, but he sees me bringing in like basically eight people. Was like we were 10 there. 10 people. Yeah, it was, was, quite it was a, a big group. I think we had to go in batches. That's just silly. Okay, but anyway, go Ma- on. Yeah, <laughs> we did have to go in batches. <laughs> yeah, the elevator wouldn't fit. So I was just bringing people up because there's also table tennis stuff around. So we were going to play that. Just playing yeah. some table tennis. Have, a bit of a dr- have some time. drinks, you know, have some chips and stuff from the snacks. Like Cereal. there's heaps of stuff. Yeah, <laughs> whatever we wanted, right? Anyways, <laughs> this guy walks out and he looks and then he was also really weirdly inappropriate, but basically he was like, saw some girls that we were with. He's like, oh, you didn't tell me you had hot friends. And I was like, oh. dude, just jog on, man. Like no one wants you here. And to be honest, you're being kind of annoying. So yeah. I didn't think anything of that at the time. And then the next day, or like maybe like a couple of days afterwards, I see him and then now he's blackmailing me. <laughs> he's literally blackmailing me. He's What's like- he said? So, so basically I was in sales at the time. Yeah. And so like we're, we're wheeling and dealing, right? And <laughs> one of the deals that I had could also go to his account. Okay. So it's like a mix, but I just got there first and it was quite a big opportunity. And he's been like, he's like, oh, you know, you don't want to, you don't want, you know, Emily to hear what happened on Friday night, do you? And I was like, dude, <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> so how you going? Here we go. What a rat. So I, it, cause it was a large opportunity. I didn't give it to him. Cause I was like, whatever, tell Emily. Yeah. <laughs> So he did tell Emily <laughs> and then Emily told me, okay. they looked at the footage and they saw like all these people come in. Luckily they only thought I did it once. Thank okay. God. They only checked the one Friday. Yeah. And, and I was actually I'm like a model employee, but she sat me down and she was like, look, there's sensitive information. You cannot be bringing people <laughs> into yeah. our office. Yeah. Fair enough. Stealing <laughs> drinks from our cabin. Fair enough. <laughs> Stealing is a strong word. Yeah. It was, it was going to go to waste anyway. Yeah. All right. Go on. That's it. <laughs> she just got the telling off. No further, no, no further, further, further disciplinary action. What, yeah. what happened to the the little knock? <laughs> oh, do I hate that guy? Did he, I, I did he OD? No. no, no, he didn't OD. He's actually pretty doing pretty why, well. Why didn't you? Why didn't you fight back? This guy was clearly coked off his mind. How is that at all? Like, it's not relevant. What doing illegal doing substances illegal on the workplace? Yeah, but I don't have any proof of that. Check <laughs> the footage. So it's a legend. Yeah. No, but he was like he, he's like a massive coke fan. And like his eyes were just like, his guy's gone crazy. That's what you should have hit him back with. Yeah, that's, that's what you should have hit him you back with. Want, yeah. Well, you don't want Emily to know what you're doing on Friday, <laughs> mate. He was, he's like an older guy and I was a bit, I was still young and impressed. Still young, more. learning, learning the ways of the workplace. Never trust your colleagues, man. Or your supposed friends in the workplace. <laughs> no, no, he, no honestly, he's, he's honestly, yeah. <laughs> one of the worst people you've ever, like I've had pretty good colleagues. Like, pretty black man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, so, that's quality. You saw this little scrawny Indian kid and was <laughs> like, I'm getting him. <laughs> I don't know why he even told, because like, whatever, man, like- You, maybe, to, you didn't introduce him to your hot friends. It's yeah, as simple Maybe as he's sour. I think he's yeah. sour. Yeah, I didn't pimp out my mates <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to this guy. Oh, no, nah, no, nah, it wouldn't happen. But anyways, that's my red-handed story. Never again. Alrighty, that brings us to the end of this magnificent, wonderful, long-awaited episode. Season three. Season three. Is that does that mean we're gonna hide season two, all of season two? <laughs> Get in quick. <laughs> now yeah, we'll, we'll put a month on it. You have a month to listen to all of season two, and that's gone forever. But before we do that, I will I, I beg, I, I implore you, please go onto the YouTube and check it out. Please. It looks fantastic. If you all have any, aside. If yeah. you have any recommendations, what should we put on what, you know, items are very, very key that we should put on the bookshelf? Any like the Miss Potato Head, very iconic. Are there any critical bands or iconic mm. items we should put on there? Let us know. Or do you want more feet maybe? Yeah. Less socks and more feet. <laughs> yes. We have to beg Rohit actually. to yeah. put on some socks. So yeah. if you want him to take them off, let us know. I can't wait for summer where we have to start wearing shorts. Oh. Get the moose knuckle out. <laughs> <laughs> I got nothing. <laughs> we, we, will, end on we, that? we will end it there. We'll see you guys next week. <laughs>